So Alex, could you please just briefly tell us what you have co uh, covered in the workshop? Uh, basically, the workshop is an attempt to um, explain how um, uh, newspapers run their op-ed pages. And, um, and for people who are outside the industry, who wants to write an opinion piece, and how they should go about it. Uh, what are the pointers, uh, how to network, um, how to approach a newspaper, and once you get a, uh, an okay, how you would want to write an opinion piece that, that would get published. So can you give us like um, journalism students about you know, what's the suggestions to pitch a story and what's the actual process of you know, pitching stories? Okay, uh, well first you want to get someone who wants to publish you. So, um, so you want to identify a publication that might be interested in your topic. So uh, one good thing, uh, one thing you want to do is to um, identify the newspaper that uh, uh, if you want to write a political op-ed, you might want to know the political stance, the editorial stand that the newspaper take. Um, some newspapers are, are very pro-democracy and they tend to publish op-eds that, that, that also advocate similar uh, positions. Um, other newspapers, they take a more diverse, uh, they, 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 they take more di diverse views of, of things they want to publish. So they might take a political position, but they're happy to publish uh, the opposite uh, positions. Uh, so you you want to uh, get clear uh, uh, about that, and that that would increase your chance of doing it. And Hong Kong is a very small place, so I would have, and inevitably, because of the six degrees of separation you will know someone who knows someone who works in the news industry. So uh, work through that, work through your network of uh, friends and relatives. So how do you actually value the story pitchings? What, what's the standard of being a good story? Um, it has to be newsy, something that is um, um, within the current news cycle. Uh, if it's not in the news cycle, then why, why, why do you have to run this story? Uh, today, if, if it can be run you know, six months from now or any time in the past five years, then, then it's probably not a good story. So something in the news. So uh, what's the biggest topic in the news? Well, it's probably the, uh, the closure of the Merchant Tower Exchange, uh, police arrest of uh, several suspects associated with the exchange. Uh, and uh, you know, so they, 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 these are, if you, um, uh, there are all kinds of opinion pieces that you can write about it because the previous administration uh, supports uh, the, the, the finding of, of, of the support, the, 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 this, the development of, of this commodity exchange. Um, so um, so you, 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 would, you might want to have an opinion, offer an analysis of what went so wrong for, for, the, for the government policy and of the previous government's policy. And, and, and with the exchange. So are you expecting the reporters to give you, just give you the sources or do you want, expect them to give you the you know, perfect story? You mean an op or a news story? News story. A news, a news story. Yeah. A news story is very different because um, I, I wouldn't take a news story from anyone. I only take a news story from my own reporter who is on my staff. <laughs> uh, op I would take it from someone who is outside my organization. Uh, anyone can pitch. A sto an all bad piece, and if, it's, and if I think it's good, then I would publish it. New story, I probably won't. I, I, I think most uh, publications only publish stories produced by their own in-house reporters. So, do you mind telling us again, you know, how important actually people networking is? Um, Hong Kong is very small, so uh, it's not difficult to to find someone who works in the industry and. If you want to get, get into the industry, then work through that, your friends and relatives. Um, in big countries like the US, uh, there's more formal structure in place, uh, um, uh, more employment criteria. Um, Hong Kong is, is, is quite loose. It is good and bad. Um, you, you, the, the, the networking it, it might seem less formal. Uh, so, uh, but I think it's also it's got a good point. It, it's much easier for you to get in once you, 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 you get the hang of it, once you have find the right people. And, it, uh, and I think anyone could break into the media industry if you have persistence enough. I think persistence is the key. Okay, okay. Thank you, Alex, for your time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.